Hey, welcome back. I'm out here today doing a little work on the old 9N tractor and uh, I'm going to see about replacing this generator on it. It's stopped charging the battery and uh, I'm going to convert it over to a single wall alternator and go ahead and rewire the tractor while I'm at it. So let me show you what the wiring looks like today and uh, see if we can't improve on this thing just a little bit. So this tractor comes, uh, to me anyway, converted from a 6 volt system to a 12 volt system and the previous owners have installed a generator on here and it's a single wire that runs back uh, to recharge the battery. And they've already got the 12 volt coil converted over on that so we won't have to, to worry about that but I do have to get this uh, generator off and the wiring that comes to this generator is original and you can see there's uh, quite a bit of electrical tape on it and the wires are corroded and really needing to be replaced and then uh, let's see if I can zoom in there is a single wire there coming to the top of the coil it's going to have to be replaced. It's not focusing, but it's that yellow wire coming down to the top of the coil right in here. That's got to be replaced. And those wires come into this metal tube along with all of the plug wires and then they're going to run under the length of this gas tank and come out uh, up in that area. So we're going to have to get the old wires out and the new wires fished back through that tube. And then here in the battery compartment you see the positive wire here comes around and is grounded to the frame. So today, the system uh, as it sits right now is a positive ground. And then the negative wire here will come down and run to the uh, starter. So one of the things that we're going to be changing uh, during this conversion is we're going to convert it from generator to alternator, but we're also going to change it from a positive ground to a negative ground. And then see right here is our uh, ignition key and we have two wires that come down here and run through the amp meter and then uh, through a resistor there and then down through a secondary resistor and then this section of wires is coming from that metal tube that we saw earlier out to the front of the tractor to the coil and the alternator. So we've got to get all that pulled out and then we're going to replace that with some some new wire. Uh, as you can see this is some pretty pretty old wire. It's got the cloth insulator on it. It's it's rotted. The wires are frayed. It's been tapped into and reworked several times. And uh, you can see a good bit of corrosion up in there. It's just time for the wires to be uh, to be replaced. We've got a large section here that's just bare. And uh, none of that's good. So let's see if we can get all this out and uh, start over. Okay, we've got the... Uh, the generator unbolted from the pivot point here and then the tensioner bolt out up here which allows you to get the fan belt off and we've got that pulled out of the way and you can see I've unhooked the uh, the hot wire going into the coil and I've also unhooked the wire going to the generator and on the end of that I've tied a little string so that when I pull these wires back up through the the loom there, uh, the string will go in 
and then when I attach the new wires I can hopefully uh, pull this string back through to get my wires to come back through the loom but I'd like you to see <laughs> one of the previous repairs on this where someone has spliced the hot wire going to the coil it's amazing to me that this tractor runs as well as it does uh, so hopefully once we replace this wiring and get rid of these kind of splices here and corroded wires and everything else uh, maybe the tractor will run even better than it was before so let's see if we can get this to pull out and uh, fish the new loom back in and I've also got the uh, voltage regulator right here is uh, it's going to have to come out because the new system with the alternator is not going to require a voltage regulator so I pulled the toolbox off of this side where you can see it so this uh, voltage regulator here has a wire coming into the top and then a wire going to the starter solenoid there so we're just gonna gonna pull that out as part of this harness and you can see the rest of my harness here is uh, well it it's not in real good shape either so we'll get all this out and uh, freshen it up with some nice nice new connections and uh, let's see if we can get this wiring loom to come out so hopefully as I pull this side of the wiring harness out the uh, string will just feed up into This is the uh, end of the lead that was connected to the generator and you can see as I pulled it back through this tube for the wiring this uh, string came through with it pretty well and uh, once we've got the new wiring all set up and ready to go I'll tie it to the end of the string and pull it back through the, the tube there so let's get our, our new wiring ready to go now what I'm going to do is just pull the uh, new wires back down through the harness here. So my new wires are in and I can untie the uh, string now. <clears throat> 